Awesome. How's everyone doing? Happy December 6th already. Kind of crazy. Um, thank you so much for being here. My name is Miranda, and I am here with the amazing Cassandra. And we're both here tonight to chit chat with you about Epicure, to share a little bit more with you about our company. Um, you see us probably, and you see, you know, your consultants uh, sharing about our recipes, our products, but sometimes you don't hear about a little bit more about the opportunity and about what Epicure is all about. So we have some stuff to share with you. We will not be past, we will not go past 9 p.m. Um, unless anyone wants to stay and chat and ask that's, questions. That's, that's seven our time. Yeah, it's seven your time. Yeah, <laughs> don't think we're going like three hours tonight. We're 30 <laughs> minutes and done. Um, but I'll get started. So a little bit very quickly about our company. Epicure is a Canadian company. We've been around for 25 years. Um, that's kind of cool, right? Like we're uh, one of the top direct sales companies in Canada. And it, what's cool is that we're based out of BC and we're a woman-led company, a family company as well, and woman-led. So our president and founder, both very strong women, uh, absolutely amazing. Hi. Oh, I'm seeing Columbus area chat. That's got to be Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so around 25 years, we have been in the United States for about three years. And yeah, just we are 100% gluten free, tree nut free, low sodium, low sugar. So we're just all about healthy meals fast for your family. Uh, it's cool. I'm super proud to be a part of Epicure. I have been with Epicure for 10 years, just over 10 years now. Uh, I started a decade ago. It's crazy. Um, and I started, you'll see, you'll, Cassandra and I are going to share our journey with you, like how we I started very much as a hobby, not really expecting much being in such a small town and how we've kind of grown and worked Epicure so many different ways. And yeah, that's what we'll share with you. But uh, first, I want to introduce the amazing Cassandra Timpano. Cassandra joined my team a couple of years ago and has just skyrocketed and works this business with such passion and such heart. And I've seen Cassandra with my own eyes grow so much from somebody who would never be on a Facebook Live, would never cook in front of people, you know, wasn't interested in that at all. I did the first few of your de cooking demos because you just you did. And uh, now she's making reels. She's doing, having, going live all the time and is so comfortable uh, and has grown her business as well, like her, her own team. So Cassandra, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thank you guys so much for taking the time and actually showing up. And for the people watching the replay, we're super excited to share this opportunity with you. Um, exactly what Miranda said. I was that girl that um, when I actually joined Epicure, I we're going to go through a couple different tiers of what kind of Epicure consultant you can actually be. Um, I didn't put much thought into it. There was never, um, I didn't really know much about Epicure when I started. My family did. And they, you know, they loved it. They talked about it all the time. But I was just doing something a little bit different with my life way back when. And it the opportunity came to me and I snagged it and I honestly, it was put in front of my face and I ran with it, not knowing where I was going to go with this business, honestly. Um, and so many great things have come from it. I call it, I actually say it saved my life in so many different ways. The community of just being around, surrounded by amazing women um, every single day. Uh, we're still yet to invite a male on my team. So that's why I say women, but men are more than welcome to join us because it would just be wonderful. They have a lot to share as well. And I've grown up with male cooks my entire life, my entire family, all the guys cook in my family. So um, we don't rule them out. But um, yeah, we just really want to share with you guys. I've been with Epicure for two years now, and I didn't even think about grow my business. I didn't realize when I was sharing, I was just starting to really get to know the products. And when you love something and you get to know something, you feel comfortable with sharing, amazing things happen. So that's kind of where my journey has led. I, it's, um, I wouldn't say it's by mistake because there's intent to grow because I'm sharing and I want to give this opportunity of what I have um, in the way it makes me feel every day. I want to share that with amazing women. We all have a story. Um, and I say that wholeheartedly because it doesn't matter. No story is bigger or smaller than somebody else's. And I think regardless, we need that 
community of amazing women surrounding each other to empower each other, inspire each other, and just be there for one another on a daily. And that's what Epicure is because guess what, ladies? We, well, unless you have an amazing husband at home that cooks for you and you don't do the cooking, then we're on a different level, but I have to do the cooking every single day. So we all have something in common automatically, right? We cook for our family. So when you're cooking with Epicure and it's a no brainer, when you're having to put meals on the table, at least three times a day, why not do it, get paid for it be surrounded by amazing people and just honestly live an epic darn life. Like I always say like, what's going to be your epic journey. And I can't wait to see it unfold right. Right before your eyes. So, um, yeah. So beautifully said, you're so right. Um, by the way, those who are on the call, I forgot to mention this at the start, um, stay like, Oh, there's another person coming in. This is amazing. Um, there will be a secret phrase tonight. So message that to the person who invited you. Um, and you'll be entered to win a new product prize pack because we have a brand new catalog starting in less than a month. And uh, we've got new products that one lucky person is going to win. So, I mean, yeah, it's good odds. <laughs> make sure you do that. And if you're watching the replay, you can do the same thing. That's why we're doing the secret phrase because there will be people who just couldn't make it tonight and want to watch that replay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a great time to say this because I'll, I probably will forget. I joined at a catalog launch and that's what's happening next month for us. So this month to join up here is amazing. I actually joined almost the exact same time. Uh, um, when we introduced or Epicure introduced a new catalog and it's, I'm telling you, it's a perfect time. <laughs> it really is. Yep. And getting those products, uh, like seeing them ahead of time when like way faster than you can as a, as a customer, like huge perk, huge perk. Absolutely. All right. So we've got a little chart here. We're going to take you through it. Uh, but what kind of Epicure consultant would you be? Because so many people say like the, the very first thought of, okay, if somebody mentions the opportunity to you, most people are like, no, I don't have time. And there's not necessarily, there's so many different ways to work this business as a hobbyist where you put in an hour or two a week. Um, and that's an hour or two of not scrolling Instagram. <laughs> like I'm guilty of doing that. Um, part-time where you work maybe three to five hours a week and a career like Cassandra and I have chosen, which we'll talk to you more about where we work as many, like I work about 20 hours a week. So as a full-time consultant, so yeah, we're going to take you through that little journey. We're going to show you the business kit and what comes in it. And we will be here to answer any questions after that. And we'll have any consultants who are watching this with us share what they love about Epicure, what their favorite part of being a consultant is. If we have, I'm sure we'll have time at the end. All right. Hobbyist, Cassandra, take us through, have you ever been a hobbyist or is this something that you thought you would, you kind of were all in eh? no, I kind of bypassed this because my needs and wants when I actually, um, I was actually in my head, I needed something. I just had my son. It, the pandemic was just starting. Um, I, I was self-employed with my husband beforehand. And I did, I needed to start looking for something. Um, but obviously I was at home with my son. So I knew I couldn't go to a physical place and start working. Um, and I honestly seen Miranda's post and I was like, Oh, can I have a catalog? And a catalog came to my house. She was really speedy at getting me one, which was amazing. And um, on the back of the catalog, the business opportunity was there. And one day it was on my table. I looked at it, I go, oh, maybe I could do something like that. And honestly, so I, I kind of bypassed right from a hobbyist because I didn't know what Epicure was all about. So I wasn't just snagging it for the discount because I went right to like, let's just see what this business is all about and share it. I already had a business mindset. So yeah, but I have a ton of people on my team that are hobbyists. They oh. are, uh, oh, sorry. They oh, need oh. gluten-free products. They are celiac. And that's pretty much what a hobbyist would be about is snagging it for themselves, sharing it with their friends, having a family member over for dinner and saying, what is this delicious food? And you're saying it's Epicure. It comes in this little package. And that's kind of where I think a hobbyist um, in my mind would be. And I have a ton of those ladies on my team and they are nothing. They are not any less than me as a full-time person. Um, they are, you know, absolutely. I, yeah, they're like amazing. Totally. There's no wrong way to work this business. And same, I have customers who shop 
too much without getting that discount and getting that 25% off of the products. Um, when I have customers who are placing big orders all the time or even small but frequent orders and paying all of that in shipping, I just offer it because you can work this as a hobbyist. And like you said, Cassandra, share with your family and friends, share that catalog that comes in your kit, collect orders to help you stay active. Um, the bare minimum that you need to do to be a consultant is one $250 order once every three months. So you start in December and, you know, we help you get that cooking class in or that party in. And then technically, if you didn't want to do anything until you would be fine until uh, the end of March. But even a hobbyist, I find that at a hobby level, you can be doing that 250, 250 once a month. And that's still an hour a week, maybe like, right? Like just sharing with your friends, bringing that catalog to work. So we see a lot of people in the hobbyist category. And like Sandra said, they are team members just like anyone else. And yeah. It's, it's a good place to start for sure. And we also see a lot of people jump, right? Like coming in here thinking, well, I'll just place an order every three months and then they see how easy it is and how much fun it is and how much fun we have, right? So then we see people move on to part-time. And like I said, part-time, it depends how many out, like three to five hours a week, maybe. Uh, maybe you have hosts, like your best friends in your family are a host for you and help introduce you to more people so that you have more ref more people who need refills than just your immediate family, your immediate social circle. Um, so part-timers, they, like, they join to make extra money to help pay for hockey for their kids or help pay for, you know, those extracurricular. Um, yeah, so selling to friends, family, and coworkers. They place orders often. They have fun sharing the passion for the products to earn extra money each month. In a day when, oh, yeah, I was just going to say, in a day and age where, like today, broccoli, we realized broccoli was ten dollars for a small head of broccoli at our at our house. Now is the time for a side hustle to pay for vegetables. Absolutely, and everyone coming out of the pandemic, I feel like more people I talk to on a daily. It doesn't matter if it's on a local vendor event or just sharing Epicure, talking about the product, meeting new people. You're finding that people do need that part-time side gig, but a no-pressure one, so they don't feel the extra stress on them. We have enough stress. We all, um, you know, the people that do work full-time and this is a side gig, um, you know being the part-time consultant is great because they're actually coming knowing what they want from this business in itself. Um, like Miranda said, to pay for, you know, kids sports or right now Christmas time, right? We all need to pay for a couple extra toys or um, that credit card after Christmas. So this is the perfect time, not only to join, we have a huge catalog launch coming, which is perfect. Great time to share with everyone. You're coming in at a time that will help you the most. Um, and uh, yeah, so I have a ton of part-time people on my team as well. They just want to make that extra little for, um, you know, that something special. So can I share my part-time story? This is the entry level for me. This is what I joined for. So when I joined 10 years ago, I had um, my daughters were a year, no, 18 months and six months. They're less than a year apart. I didn't have a mat leave with Elliot, my um, youngest daughter, because when Jamie was born, Jamie was, my oldest daughter was three months old and I was pregnant again. So there was like no time to work up enough uh, for, a, for a mat leave. So I didn't have mat leave. Um, Ellie was six months old. I wanted to start contributing. It was September and I knew Christmas was around the corner and I needed some money. And I, you know, I thought I need to start something. And I had no experience with direct sales, by the way, you don't, you don't need it. Clearly I was fired from a sales job <laughs> once fun fact. But so I started doing this and not even really thinking about it. I was making money. I had my launch. I had a thousand dollars in sales from, from just from my launch party. Um, and I was tucking that money away. And at the time it was $175 to start. I didn't have that. I personally didn't. And I asked my husband if I could just join Epicure, you get all this stuff and like, can I just try it? And he's like, well, okay. And I was just tucking money away. I paid him back for the business kit tucking money away. And then all of a sudden I started buying Christmas gifts for my kids. Um, and I wasn't telling Derek, I was kind of just tucking them away. Like I was doing that money. Um, and then it was getting close. It was the start of December. We live in Hornpain where we can't just go to a store. Like you have to order things online. And 10 years ago, it wasn't that easy, but I had been doing it. And Derek was like, I see no payments off my visa. 
have you not like we haven't started Christmas shopping what are we going to do and I brought him into the bedroom into the closet and I showed him the Christmas gifts that I had been buying for like two months with my Epicure income and he was like really like there's nothing on my visa. You've taken care of Christmas this year. And it was such a good feeling. And it was so important to me to be able to contribute because it's just not like me not to, but I had no other source of income. I couldn't go and work for somebody else. I had two babies at home. So for me, this was how I started was, you know, I was just going to share with people I know in town and see what happens. It was a whole lot of fun. And I was earning that income and yeah, it was really, really empowering. Amazing. Yeah. And anyone see the secret phrase on the screen? Message that to us and you'll be entered to win. All right. Ah, career, my career driven Cassandra. <laughs> <laughs> you need that on a plaque. Yes. And once again, it wasn't, you know, I'm going, I'm going to make this my full-time job. I just, I see what I've, um, what I have gotten from this experience, the people that I'm surrounded by. And I honestly put it out to the people that I'm meeting every day, like the customers. And I go to these vendor events and I'm out there with the locals. And I'm even some of the ladies I've invited to this call tonight. Um, half of them are just because they want that um, community, right? Like that little tight, some people we just need, I call it getting out of bed. Honestly, I talk to people. I'm like, do you just want to get out of bed? She's, yeah, you know, because I think we've all been there. And um, I mean, that's just the start. And that's what drives me to make this such a bigger thing. I don't want to go work for somebody else. I've been in business. My husband's been in business for a very, very long time, but I worked with him for 15 years in the wedding industry. Um, I know what it takes to work uh, self-employed. Now we're talking about career guys. So don't get scared. If you're still a hobbyist and you're still a part-timer, you know, this might seem a little scary because now we're, you know, um, we're kind of moving up. Like I, you know, um, I know what I need to do to make this my job. So my expectations of myself are a lot harder, um, but it doesn't have to be. I'm choosing to not want to walk out that door and work for somebody else. I want to work for myself. I love the fact that, well, I don't love the fact that my child's sick right now. I love the fact that I don't have to figure out care for him. He is has not been feeling good for over, actually both my children. My daughter's been off for a week and a half from school. My son is currently, I've been in the hospital twice with him in the last two days. And I just went freely. I didn't have to worry about, you know, trying to find childcare for him. So these are benefits of working for yourself. It is not easy. Um, you have to set um, yourself at higher like standards because you have to get out of bed um, you have to put down your cell phone when you're scrolling and you have to shut off Netflix when there's a good show on that. You, all you want to do is binge watch. Um, you have to set those. So if you're going for the full career, um, once again, I'm not going to say it's easy, but it's so worth it. And every single day I have customers that email me. I've never met these people and I feel so connected and so grateful that they're in my life. And I cannot, like, sometimes I feel like I'm a little bit too like positive, but honestly, guys, when you want positivity in your life, you just have to ask for it. You have to believe that it's going to come your way. And, um, starting with Epicure, you're going to see this happen. It's such an amazing community. Um, you know, it all boils down to when you're around food and you're sharing food, just like at Christmas time, like we're all getting together for that turkey dinner. And, you know, when you think about Christmas and you think about that fun time with your family, yes, gifts are involved, but it's just getting together with family and enjoying a great meal with them. That's what means the most. And for me personally, um, seeing families get together and eat healthy food. It's just so worth it. Um, and yeah, so career, if you are in a career right now that you're getting, you know, you're not that happy with, or you're tired or whatnot, then if this is something you want to make your career, then reach out to the, um, you know, the consultant that invited you to this call and we can make that happen. But it goes the same with being a hobbyist. You could start there and work your way up, see what this is all about at first. 
And you can, it's so true, but one thing that's important to know as well is that you can work this job as a career and also have a career. Like I worked for five, about five years of this, I was a full-time school secretary and I still, you know, worked as a leader and had a, an Epicure team. And I just, you find your own pockets of time, right? So those evenings, like Cassandra said, I might have chose not to have Netflix on. Derek would be at work and I would be messaging my teammates and doing fun things that way but because this is so much fun and we're so passionate about it it didn't really feel like I had an extra job it just felt like I don't know it's hard to explain but I see a lot of people in this field um who also have full-time jobs it just yeah you can yeah you can totally work it like I said I work 20 hours a week in my office and I consider this full time. I've got an executive income doing this. So you uh, and yeah, it's so flexible. It's amazing. So those are the three kind of those are the three ways you can work as a consultant. Uh, Cassandra touched on a little bit about why people join like for community. We see people join for community, for health and wellness, for income, um, for the recognition. I don't know about you, but never in any of my corporate jobs or my other jobs did I did my boss say, hey, here's a trip to uh, Mexico. Oh, and take someone with you. Oh, and don't worry, you don't need to ask for time off. We'll just, we'll all be there too. Like that's never happened. Or, you know, on stage at conference, receiving an award or Facebook recognition, like that doesn't really happen a lot. And it feels really darn good. Like I get it when my kid comes home now with a star, a superstar sticker on their homework and they're pumped about it. Cause yeah, it feels good to be called out and to be recognized for the things you're doing. So yeah, so many different reasons. Um, let me go down one page and I want to show you guys what comes in the business kit and then we will answer any questions that you may have. Yeah. All right. The business kit, it was $175 when I started 10 years ago, by the way, it's, and it was, the kit was a bit smaller. It wasn't as big as it is now. So it's kind of cool in that regards. Um, you get that multi-purpose steamer and I always say this time of year to join, if you have that steamer, for example, now you have one in your business kit and it's like, oh, I can gift this to someone for Christmas. And that's an amazing gift um, or any of the other products that come in the kit. If you already have them, you can sell them as stock, you can gift them or keep them because we all need like three steamers. Let's face it. Um, but you can see all of the things that you get. It's over $300 value. When I got my kit, I was in disbelief that the thing, those products belonged to me. It came in, it felt like Christmas, like I had this big box and I was like, oh, I was afraid to touch anything because I felt like it, you know, there's no way they're just going to hand me over all of these products, but I had quickly learned, okay, this is mine. I get to keep these things. It's pretty exciting. And I'm sure the consultants on this call who received that business kit can attest to that being like the best day ever when that kit comes in. All right. Anything to add here, Cassandra? Uh, I would just, honestly, this is what I say to everyone. You're literally setting yourself up and your family for success in the kitchen right away. $125 valued at over $330. It's kind of a no brainer. I'm not going to lie. Um, if anything, you're just gifting yourself um, a healthy lifestyle. And without even realizing it, you're going to start eating healthier. Uh, you're going to see amazing things happen because when we eat healthy, um, we get motivated a little bit more, you know, we start getting up and walking more, like a lot of great things happen without you even realizing that it's happening. So the business kit for yourself, um, I always say there's nothing to lose because the value is there for your itself. And then you're going to get it in and you're saying, oh my gosh, well, that was delicious. Oh my God. And as you go, you could snap a photo and when you share it, like word of mouth, right? That's the biggest thing. You're going to say that was delicious. And then mom or your sister is going to say, well, what was that? And you're going to say it was Epicure crispy, crunchy lettuce wrap. And then it just goes on from there, guys. It's so fun. And then the community starts getting involved and we cheer you on. And anyways, yeah, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Business kit is amazing. Yeah. And the worst case scenario is that this doesn't work out. You tried it. It's not for you. You keep your kit. No one's coming, knocking at your door, asking for that steamer back. You keep your kit and you tried, right? Like no one's going to be mad at you. This is not a pressure, a high pressure situation that we're just, it's not our style. Never has been. It's just, it's something to try. The cool thing is that if you're looking for a side hustle, a way to make, I shouldn't just say side hustle. If you're looking for a full-time hustle, 
if you're looking to make money um, and you're not sure what to start doing, think of it like this. We're food. Everybody eats. If you have an esophagus, then this is like, you know, your target market is anyone. So it's kind of fun that way. All right, we're going to open it up for questions. I would love to hear if there's anyone here who does have any questions, anything we discussed. If there's any consultants here who want to share their favorite part, add anything on to what Cassandra and I had to say. We still have a couple minutes, so. Maureen's going to, I think, say something. Oh, she has to unmute. Or she's trying. Uh, Ooh, great question, Rhonda. Rhonda says, while well, Maureen's trying to figure that out, I'll answer Rhonda's question. She says, do you, if you sign up now, do you get the new catalogs? And what happens if you sign up now, you get uh, two packages of the current catalogs, and then in a Cup one, I think December 14th, I have to look at my calendar. Um, then on your tab, on your back office, you'll have, you can add the new catalogs to it that you get for free. For free. Yes. Oh, Emily signed up. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. That's awesome. Can you unmute Maureen? <laughs> she just, I can't, it won't let she, me. Oh no, what's Absolutely. going on? There, thanks. <laughs> I I am technologically challenged for sure. I oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> thank you. Can be. <laughs> She's a leader. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share. Um, I started basically um, just to snag the kit. Um, my daughter is a kidney dialysis patient and um, I needed things that were healthy for her to eat and, um, you know, just wanted to try it. I was the only guest at one of Miranda's classes while we were visiting my stepdaughter in Miranda's small town. And um, when I got home from holidays, because we were there on holidays, when I got home, my kit was here. And yeah, like I... I didn't start to to make a, a business out of it. I really was for my own use, family's use. Um, and it's honestly like allowed me to go part-time at my um, day job where I go out um, as a receptionist. And um, like I've been part-time for a year and my business now, my Epicure business has grown because I can give it a little bit more time. And it's honestly been a, a blessing. Like I can't say enough about it. Amazing. I remember you warning me when we were mm -hmm. chatting at Tracy's party. I'm not doing yeah. this, Miranda. Like, yeah. don't expect lots from me. I'm like part yeah. time, like less than part time. Right. I was like- Less than part time, yeah. Yeah. I'm just taking the, I'm just taking the kit. Yeah. And, you know, like, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just sell to family and friends and, you know, like I'm lots of times I'm my own best customer and that's okay. Yeah. I'm good with that. But, you know, now I'm a leader, I've grown a, a small team and I'm, I'm very happy with, I mean, I'm, I'm earning enough money that um, I could probably retire within a year Amazing. from my outside job. Yeah amazing oh, yeah. thank you for sharing you're welcome you can mute me now I don't know how to mute myself okay. because I'm my I'm picture in picture here I don't know what I did <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'll really really quick I'm Tara Potter I'm a leader with Epicure I've been with the company for two and a half years uh became a leader in my quick start which was definitely not my plan I work full-time um beyond full-time actually in my regular job um, plus I have three other little tiny jobs I do on the side. And this was just for some extra money. I have five kids putting them through school. Um, my kids range from 31 to 14. So I still have three left to go through university and one still in there. Um, so this was just a second income for me. So I didn't actually have to leave my house in the evening, um, to make more money. And, um, I've done very well with Epicure. 
Um, I probably joined at one of the the toughest times because we had no stock when I joined. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and I still made quite a bit of money and sold quite a bit of stuff um, in that time. I actually ordered my kit in May and didn't get my kit till October. That's how backed up we were when we started. Um, but I love Epicure. I joined Epicure kind of like I said as a second as a second income, but also because my daughter has quite a quite a few food, uh, food restrictions, worse than being celiac because she can't actually have oxalates, which are anything that's grown from the earth. So Epicure has made a huge difference in my family um, and everybody loves Epicure. My uh, oldest daughter has joined and is also a consultant too. I have a small team who I absolutely love and my customers are the best. I love every single one of them. Um, the community that I've grown, uh, let alone with my Epicure family, which are here, Cass and Miranda and Maureen and everybody else. Um, but my customers, I consider some of them like family, like we have great relationships, talk, we know about each other. Um, it's just an amazing connection that you make with other people. So, and again, I'm, like I said, I work full time, I probably work 16 hours a day sometimes in my regular job. But I just find time when Right now, I actually was working the business the whole time Cass and Miranda were talking and putting in a couple of orders and doing a couple of things. So wherever I'm, if I'm sitting in the car waiting for one of my kids to come out of swim team or from work, I can put an order in within minutes on my phone. So this, you can do it on the toilet, guys. This yeah. business can be from anywhere, whatever you want. And if you don't want to do it, you put your phone or your computer away. Exactly. So you do what you can for you and what you want to do. Um, but I have to say it's one of the best companies out there and the community itself, uh, once you're in, you're in, you're going to, it's going to draw you in. But like I said, I've, I've worked for 23 years for the company I work with and never have I ever earned a trip or been packed back. And I've earned two amazing trips, Jamaica, which we didn't unfortunately get to go on because of COVID and then Mexico, which we just did. Um, and all four of us that are on the call right now just earn conference for free. So there's so many perks and benefits. I was getting calls from head office continuously in my first six months of doing it. I personally had to take a step back from how much I was working my business um, because I was getting burnt out. But that was my choice to do that. If I, if I didn't want to continue my full-time job, which I do want to right now, um, I probably could have could be working this business full-time if I chose to so you have choices when this is your business because remember it's yours mm -hmm. uh, thank you. thanks for sharing that and I want to say I have to throw this out there because Tara's like I had to I was getting burnt out I had to cut back cut back like our fast start program in our first three months Epicure encourages you to close 12 cooking classes in those first three months we you get perks and stuff along the way you don't it's not mandatory but it's very cool um Tara closed like a hundred and <laughs> like high I think you still hold the record of highest 99 of my days yeah nine, okay 99 highest amount of cooking classes out of any consultant in the organization in their fast I'm sure of it there's no yeah. I don't think anyone else will ever <laughs> so yeah a when, <laughs> it was a little, when Tara says she had to come back a little yeah a little just a little, just a little. <laughs> thank you for sharing awesome all right so any final questions I love that Rhonda asked a question about the catalogs. Anyone, anything else to add, guys? Anybody watching the replay, if you guys have any questions, just either put them in the comments or shout out to Miranda or myself and we could answer anything for you guys. Yes, I'm going to put a question for you guys up in the event page that if you answer, that'll give you one extra ballot to win new products. So go uh, right after this and answer that question and that's it. Thank you guys for being here. And don't forget to send the fa the phrase in. Lisa has already sent me the phrase the minute it got popped up. Okay. Lisa's in. <laughs> awesome. And I see Rhonda and Louise that are my two guests that are here still and have asked questions. You guys are in. <laughs> Leslie, Leslie's still here, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Carrie. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I'll put this recording up in the group as well. Oh, oh, that's okay, Emily. You're a consultant too, so you're good to go. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everybody.